a Portland artist is taking people's love to, of balloons to a whole new level, and it's all to spark a little joy in your life. Yeah, photojournalist James Sparks caught up with a man behind the message to learn more. There we go. I want to make them laugh or smile or feel something. The, the happiness is in shooting the photo and making this. Like, doing this is my happy place, but the fact that people are taking something out of it or laughing or it's thought-provoking to them, that's just icing on the cake for me. I started a few years ago, and I loved making fun of social media. I loved uh, sort of turning social media tropes on their head and uh, kind of mocking the thing that we're all addicted to, uh, which is social media. And I saw these balloons in, you know, bridal shower announcements and baby announcements and birthday parties, and I thought they would be a great medium to start putting somewhat serious messages or also not so serious messages in. It blew up, and that's not a balloon pun, but it blew up so quickly uh, over the summer of 2020 that I didn't really have a chance to like alter anything I do that significantly. I still make the same uh, art and it's still evolved in the same direction it always has. They're very temporary installations. I do like to reuse the balloons. I swear I reuse the balloons. I'll leave them up as long as it takes to take a photo with them, then I'll take it down right away. I am just legitimately uh, tickled that the art is blown up and that it's getting out there. And that there is some, in, in the not so irreverent, irreverent messages, in the messages that are more sincere and not as irreverent, I'm really, really uh, touched when people will reach out and talk about how a message helped them or a message really like spoke to them or maybe was a catalyst for them making a big life-changing decision. That makes it worth it. I mean, they can call me whatever they want as long as I'm helping people and making them laugh or smile. I would be utterly unsurprised if uh, if somebody had told me five years that this was going to be uh, this was going to be my life and that I was going to be balloon guy for a while. Uh, but before this, I uh, did a big project called Box Wine Boyfriend that was a big hit. And people always ask me, what's the next thing? And I have no idea what the next big thing is gonna be. Uh, maybe I'll get tired of the balloons and I'll do something else completely different in the future. I'll be just as surprised as everybody else. If you would like to fo follow Michael's balloon messages, we have a link to his Instagram page on our website, kptv.com. Yeah, just look in the As Seen On section right there on the website.